All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to one of our milestones, which is the 100th session of the Empowering Morning Conversations. So as many of you know, there is a purpose to these Empowering Morning Conversations. They might be structured in an informal way, and we are quite informal. Everybody is welcome to speak and contribute to the conversation. And this all started, you know, 100 sessions ago, and I want to express my gratitude to my good friend Vitrivel, who suggested to me that we should do this. And I'm so happy that I followed his suggestion. And here we are on the 100th session. So my deep gratitude to you, Vitrivel. My gratitude to you, Rama and um, Kunen, and everybody who has, um, you know, you know, uh, joined hands with me to make this happen. So here we are. The purpose of these morning conversations is to counter the negative influences by which we are bombarded every day of our life, 24 seven, they never stop. And if they are not coming from outside, they're coming from within us. So they influence these outside things influence us through our feelings, as you know, and feelings influence our actions. And actions are what is going to produce results in life, isn't it? So if we get into a state of negativity, what happens? We spread negative vibrations and people around us also become negative. So there So we cannot hear you, sir. Hello? People, can you hear me? Yes, yes. All right. So we said that we will become positive. We will spread these positive vibrations all along. And that is going to make a better, the world a better place. And why? Because we are selfish people. We want to make the world a better place because we live in it. So that's the purpose, guys. So very warm welcome to you. And you know, when I came on the call this morning, I said, hey, it's the 100th session. So people were saying that it has to be special. It has to be unusual. And I said to myself, hello, it's a day like any other day. And for us, every day is a special day. Every day, every moment is an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves because that's what we are programming ourselves to do. So we have a default programming, which we know very well. And the default programming is what? Blaming, complaining, reacting, getting angry and you know worrying and all that stuff. The default mode which seems to take over. And we want to replace it with a created mode where we are creating our life. So this is what we are trying to do. But the first thing to do is to counter the negativity that surrounds us, right? Now, everybody knows everything. In my 35 years plus of uh, training, healing, coaching experience, I've been in transformational training since 1982 in various capacities. And I've been learning a lot and I've been applying a lot and uh, spreading it out into the world. And as I spread it out, I learn more and I then apply more and I learn more and I spread more. That's what I've been doing. So I've come across so many people from so many walks of life students, managing directors of companies, CEOs of companies, everybody knows everything about how to have a quality life. I mean, they can sit you down and give you a lecture for five hours about how you should live your life in a better manner. And as research would bear me out, it's been discovered that more than 80% of the people use less than 20% of what they already know. So we know a lot, but we use very little. And my very simple formula is that even if I can get people to start using 10% of what they already know, and if I can help them to do that, that will make their life much better and it will make life much better all around. So welcome to the family, all right? So all that we do here every morning is give certain exercises, we give certain inputs, which will help you to actualize your own learning to be able to live your own life the way you want. That's what we do. 
and it's not a lecture it's a conversation people come here they share they question and at the end of every day people go back with some insight some breakthrough in their life that's what happens so the usual format of our morning sessions is people come here they start with sharing about what happened the previous day i asked them to do that you know why because when you become conscious a that tomorrow you might have to share not because we are forcing anyone we don't but you know when you then you start living your life consciously and awarely mostly we don't i mean the days pass by in a blur it starts in the morning gets over at night and then you get up next morning another day just like any other day that's what happens when we live in the default mode so before i go any further i'd like to invite some of our stalwarts who are there right from the beginning who helped me to create this platform so i'll invite rama and vitrivel and kunain to share their experiences of being with us for the last 99 sessions and today is the 100th one so i would like to start let's have kunain start thank you sir thank you so much and very good morning one and all well the first first very first thing what i learned from sir is this the energy and this is the potential we do have and i personally learned to change my mind state because i used to be always in the worry mode which was my default mode so i used to be conscious about what will happen in future to me and i was also used to live in the past in my memories and in future about the uh, imagination so the very first thing what i got from sir is this the power of generating energy and living myself in the present moment not in the default mode of worries so i wanted to thank you sir for this much and uh, what i have uh, implemented also just wanted to share that uh, within my family as a father as a husband i used to be worried i used to always concern that what will happen to my children etc but when i learned that if i am worried about uncertainty if i am worried about something unknown and i used to create the image that unknown would be bad to me but sir told that why unknown can be good as well so that was the wonderful breakthrough for me and that changed my perspective that if you are worried about unknown why why don't you think and change your mind state that that unknown could be good as well so that was one of the biggest breakthrough and i wanted to thank you sir there are there are you know is a big list and i will not consume all the time but definitely interacting with you having sessions with you and attending this morning conversation has changed my perspective about self about others and about world it's a sort of paradigm shift so thank you so much sir and may god bless you and back to you thank you vitrivel thank you very much sir uh, thank you very much kunain ji that was so powerful uh, my take is uh, like kunain ji said i can take the whole day to share that much benefit i got one quick thing i would like to share is the clarity i never felt this much clarity before i attended so many programs i listened to so many motivation i am kind of a looking for something guy but after uh, meeting him joining all these programs started learning i feel the clarity like uh, our tony robinson used to say clarity is power now what happened to me was the power got shifted earlier circumstance has got a power now i have got a power <laughs> thank you very much sir we will share over a period thank you very much all right neeti ji ji good morning sir good morning han ji <clears throat> yeah so i thought you might want to share something definitely sir uh, i think the, uh, there are two very important realizations i have come across and that are going to stay with me for life uh, one is uh, the meaning of now and the power of now in living in the now it is uh, i don't know uh, do i compare it to a lens or what it is like when you 
look at now through true eyes, all your past, present, future, everything gets addressed in its own way. And uh, you, uh, you know, so that has been a breakthrough for me, understanding the importance of now and living in the, uh, living in now, addressing the issues of now. It's far deeper. It's going to be a lifelong learning, learning I'm sure. It is not as much as I've understood till date. It's far more than that. Second thing is the awareness of the energies. Uh, the presence of energies was always there, but uh, how to uh, relate to these energies and how to, uh, you know, imbibe them and uh, take their support in our day-to-day -day life, express our gratitude towards the energies. That has also been a, a big learning and a breakthrough for me. So uh, these two things will remain with me forever. I listened to you for the first time back in 2002. I've never listened to anybody after that. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Kuldeep ji, not only would we welcome your share, we will also welcome your share. So you can start with whatever you like. You can do the share first and share later, or share first and share later. Whatever you please. Good morning, friends. Morning. I was talking yesterday to one of my friends and he was asking life which also we discuss here. So I mentioned to him and that is what I am mentioning here in four lines in form of a share. Ke beet jati hai zindagi ye dhunne mein. बीत जाती है जिंदगी ये ढूंढने में कि ढूंढना क्या है बीत जाती है जिंदगी ये ढूंढने में कि ढूंढना क्या है जबकि पता नहीं ये भी कि जो मिला है उसका करना क्या करना क्या है मैंने कहा पहले आप ये देखो जो मिल गया है उसका करना क्या है वही बहुत काफी है सुदीप जी वाज सेइंग कि 10% एट लीस्ट वी डू व्हाट वी नो इट it will make our life change. So, why am I doing this? Why am I And this is a great step here and great program here, which helps us in doing this. My takeaway, many takeaways are there, but most important is that when uh, we get in the default mode, that is the uh, our criticism and other things, we want to know what to do about it how to get rid of this. But then one wonderful principle which I have learned is that if we, if we look every experience as a possibility whereby we can make ourselves a better version, this, this question itself is gone. Means then we will be, I was looking at only on possibilities, only on creation and automatically the reaction mode is off. And that made me all the difference. So this is thank what you, I say you. is the difference which will make the great difference. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Thank you, Kuldeep ji. And for everybody's benefit, Kuldeep ji is a very senior person from the armed forces, retired. And not only that, he's also a trainer. And to hear such words from him, it makes my heart grow fonder. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for sharing it. All right, then we have the senior most person in our group, and that is Hasina Ji. Hasina Ji, what makes you come without fail every morning? You never miss a session. Sir, I'm getting a lot from here. I used to complain all the time at home. And, that, uh, and I realized that others have also have, and I wanted my way. Everything I wanted my way. This gave me a realization that everybody has to live also. Mm -hmm. So that's not fair on my part to have my way. So I have made a big shift there. The second thing I have shifted is there is a great improvement in my conversation. I open, I have opened up to them. A lot of things were there in my heart which I could not express to them. And which I have started doing. And these two, two ships are really big for me to be happy. Great. Thank you so much, Asina Ji, for sharing it. 
and my friend rama you are hiding yourself today he is one of my first four people to support this uh, morning conversation he stalwart the quiet presence who inspires in his quiet way so rama ji would you like to share something with us i think he's got some signal problem at his end or whatever okay so we'll come back to rama so let's have some of the young people also so we have this young it professional from hong kong her name is shakti and she is with <laughs> us and i'd like her to share something about why she is coming here every day and what she is getting out of it believe me we are not going to keep uh, spend the whole program only sharing we going to talk other stuff also but i thought i should acknowledge these people for their presence thank you shakti Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Good morning. Yeah, I am attending this uh, empowering morning conversation from day one. I gained a lot of valuable insights. Uh, I for my self improvement uh, through uh, self understanding, self awareness, self developing. Uh, if I'm improving, uh, implementing those days, I'm facing a lot of challenges. Also, I got tools and techniques to overcome. That makes me to come over here every day. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Anybody else who would like to say something? Let's have Doctor Anindita. That's the last one I'm going to ask. And Dwarka Nath after that, certainly. Go ahead, Anindita. Yeah, Kalan here. Um. Good morning. um so you invited me i mean we met under <laughs> very magical circumstances i must say and then you invited me to the, this program and um i have been here and uh, what i have seen is your and your commitment your team's commitment uh, to this uh, to to continuing this on a regular basis and i've had the good fortune of seeing you work at on the back end as well and that has been my biggest inspiration that how a group of people a team of people can turn up every day selflessly to do this over and over again so that just for the with the aim of creating a better world so that has been my greatest inspiration and thank you so much for this thank you for sharing and uh, let's have dwarka nath and then we will have milan dwarka nath you want to say yes. something namaste sir Namaste, namaste. How are you? Yes, I become more smart and uh, presented myself uh, through video. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Congratulations. So all uh, things happened within a week uh, with your uh, so on. Then uh, that day, uh, first day, I was little morose. Uh, what is this after all? Uh, every uh, thing is going on. Uh, every uh, next door is a Zoom. Uh, meeting and uh, then i found uh, uh, so with a difference this one normally everything is normally going but the viewer this one is with a difference then i thought everybody has a difference in himself but it, they are not coming out of it so then i found a difference in myself and uh, and your one more motivation was uh, if uh, aishwarya rai comes hello yeah yeah go ahead if uh, ishwarya rai comes uh, will you keep quiet you say asked me then i thought yes why i should keep quiet i will run with her like <laughs> that i found an amitabh bachchan in you <laughs> and, all right uh, thank you when we compare amitabh bachchan so is a not a journey was not a small thing the greatest struggle what he is today and uh, i owe it to you all the best sir Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's have Milan Ji, and yes, Milan sir. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I raise my hand with a bit of apprehension that I, being the young, youngest child in this family, having joined so late, whether I'll be given a chance to talk on this occasion. Now, thank you, uh, Sukhdev, for giving me this chance. Number one, number two, my reactions are very crisply and very succinctly. I will say that I got elixirs of my life. so long i had been living others life now i have started living my own life my own terms during my corporate jobs 
I was really living others' life even after the retirement for about last seven, eight years. I tried to figure out what is it that I am doing, what is the purpose of my life. In just in this few short days, I have got this purpose, I have got a direction, and I have started living my life on my own terms. Thank you, Sukhdev, once again. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's have Major Saab sharing. Am I audible, and, sir? Yes, certainly you are audible. And my old friend, Rajesh morning, Putira, Sir. Acha. Good morning, good morning. I find this platform nothing but sheer energy in motion and enthusiasm and enlightenment in action. The greatest learning of attending this program for these conversations is the simple fact that there's a vast difference between choice and decisions. Earlier, I thought it was one of the same. After having attended these conversations, I knew what is choice which comes my way and what are the decisions that I can take. That has been one of my most profound learnings. And second is, who is driving your bus? Is it you or somebody else? The key for the bus is with you or somebody else? So these are the two great learnings I got, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Sandeep. And then we'll have Rajesh. Very good morning, everyone. Uh, sir, it has been a very uh, self-enriching program and uh, the best uh, motivational program I have ever attended. Uh, so many sessions again. And it has really touched my mind. It has opened my heart. And the way you do it in an extempore way, like uh, you're really, you have read so much, you have done so much in your life. And uh, you just had, you start without any sort of plan. And uh, you just open up with a uh, new topic. You take uh, new inputs and you continue your program. And that really uh, encourages us to live our life also in extempore, but with a very strong preparation in background. That's an amazing thing, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now it's my great honor and privilege to welcome a very, very, very old friend of mine because of whom I am sitting here talking to you. In 1982, he and I used to meet very regularly in a hotel in Chandigarh, you know. He was coming from his company, Thermax. I was coming from my company, Bosch. And one day he says to me, hey, Sukhdeepak, I've done this program. And I said, what has happened to this guy? He never talks like this. So he introduced me to a program to cut the long story short. I did that program. And after doing the program, I got transformed. I chucked my job, joined that organization, which was conducting the program. I became a trainer and a shy fellow who would never speak in front of four people now can stand in front of 300 people and talk. Why? Because one friend of mine invited me to do a program. And that's the power of an invitation. You can invite someone and change their life. So Rajesh, Thank you so much for your contribution to my life. Go ahead. Please share whatever you wish to. Yep. Uh, Deepak, it's um, truly a delight to be here with you and your uh, whole group of people you are engaged with today. And um, I truly feel blessed that I have found somebody like you. And I could uh, put that spark in you and that spark has become a uh, you know, big fire now, spread wild and far and wild. And um, I also want to thank you for uh, the interaction we had three years ago when I was in Bangalore. And um, you got me back into a, uh, another mode of contributing. I've been contributing all my life. Uh, but the current mode of contribution is something I owe to you. Uh, and uh, I'm training people, I'm mentoring people, I'm mentoring organizations. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, it's a new, new orbit I'm in, and I owe this absolutely to you, so Deepak. So uh, thank you very much for being part of my life, and uh, I love you. I love you a lot. You know, another lesson which I, everybody can get from this is as you give, so shall you receive. So he gifted to somebody and he got the gift back in some form or the other. Thank you so much, Rajesh. You know that anytime, anywhere, if you want something, I'm there for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. And we have another very, very wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary gentleman. He retired 
from the armed forces a commando and he dedicated his life to teach yog to people three minute scientific yog many of us here have done this program and all those who have not done the program i always tell them go and do the program now from the day i started i have never missed a single day of practicing the three minute yog you can imagine what power it must be having okay and i could keep on talking about it but i think i'll give a few minutes to um uh, major seva saying to sorry sir if i got your rank wrong so please go ahead sir if you want to say something to all of us we'd be very happy to hear from you thank you sir thank you rightly said you sir ke that what we know if we just practice 10 per person it is good enough to be a successful person in the life but i will go further if we practice 0.001% what we know it is good <laughs> enough <laughs> because i knew a lot about you lot about you but it, nothing gave to me i read hundreds of books hundreds of yogis and attended so many yog camps here and there i did a certificate in yog from kurukshetra university ultimately i came to know it is a just a little bit practice and that is how you i have i am telling you to do this 3 minute scientific even this half uh, one and a half minute is good enough i will go further if you go only for 20 second the recitation of body parts i discuss in the system it will put you in a gear and it will open your channel right. so you rightly discovered yourself after going through this uh, a uh, treatment scientific yoga and uh, i have seen some of other participants who are here i could see them many they have many attended my program so i will be looking forward to interact uh, more frequently with them i just got the opportunity to uh, tell this and uh, to come this program thank you very much sir and uh, other people should also give own view thank you so much sakdeep ji thank you thank, thank you, you thank you and now we have rama who has been hiding for so long today is one of the original people who joined hands and we could start these you know what there's a lot one can do but you need people to stand with you so rama vetrivel kunen and all these people they stood with me and they were after my life do this do this do this so i did it thank you so much rama would you like to say something and yes, after sir. that we'll move on to the agenda of the day yes sir thank you thank you very much sorry for joining late and uh, uh, something went on so this has been a great journey when i first met uh, mr sukdeepak malwai in a presentation i immediately got uh, you know connected with him and i was behind him saying that you know sir who are you what are you doing i want to get connected and it was the from the first day it is like love at first sight so i can sense his uh consciousness is energy levels is uh, spiritual quotient at the highest possible level i you know came across uh no it has really been amazing to be with him all along uh, so much of positivity so much of thinking original thinking you no know, that's that's what really is driving me uh, to be with him and uh, so much i learned from him, from him uh so the power like you know the the power of generation of our own um, emotions required and uh, thinking you no know, that is making ourselves thinking as well as making others to think that is a powerful thing which i learned from him in fact i used to present in many places where i go and present my ppt and all those things but after i came in association with him i learned the power of inquiry based and discussion based things which are much more powerful in terms of making the people to think on their own and bring the experiences and uh, that's been an amazing uh, thing for me so uh, thank you very much sir thank you very much for the whole team um, in making this happen every day thinking about the positivity thinking about the possibilities and uh, you know being in the right company of uh, various people it has been an amazing journey and i will continue to be uh, there yeah. with uh, no mr sudipak malvai and create more and more positivity in the world thank you very much sir thank you thank my you. dear pillar so these are the pillars you know all right so we'll stop the sharing for now i know gautam you've got your hand raised but we will again open up the forum for sharing your problem is that i know you've got so much to share 
that we will only do sharing if I don't stop you now. All right. So we'll do one exercise which we are very fond of, a very, very simple exercise, but a very powerful one, you know. See, I keep saying to you people, how do the circumstances influence you through your feelings, right? You can check it and see. Circumstances or the environment influences you through your feelings and your feelings affect your actions. So it's very simple. Any logical person will say that if my feelings are influenced by the circumstances and my feelings are influencing my actions, why don't I learn to generate the actions that I, uh, feelings that I need? Why don't I learn to generate the feelings that I need so I can give my 100% in my life? My feelings are my feelings. Most of us don't know that we can generate any feeling that we want. If fear drives you, generate fear, Baba. Why are you waiting for someone else to come and frighten you? If anger motivates you, you generate it. Na? Why do you have to get somebody to make you angry? So if enthusiasm influences you positively, generate enthusiasm. You can generate whatever feeling you want. Point is, we don't know this. So I call it the power of generation, the ability to generate whatever feeling you want. You want happiness and joy? Generate it. Now there is a secret and the secret is the human mind does not know the difference between a real experience and an imaginary experience. Whether it is real or imaginary, your mind treats it as the same. All right. I could give you 100 examples, but that's not what I want to do right now. We are going to use the power of generation. And this is something which you don't want to know, you want to do. Okay? When you do it, you will experience it. Are you ready, guys? Yes? So when I say one, two, three, we will all laugh 100% without making a sound. That is unusual, isn't it? Laughing 100% without making a sound. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Let me see you do that. <laughs> Darshana ji. <laughs> Rajeshwari ji, 100%. Don't hold back. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sare bandhan chhod do. Give it up. Go for it. Malika Subramaniam, give it your hundred percent. <laughs> now, how difficult is that? It's easy, isn't it? You can do it because you choose it. And that's one of the mottos here we have. You will do it because you choose it. All right. The idea is we want to stop living from the default mode. So let me just very quickly come to my topic for the day. So, like I said, the purpose of these morning empowering conversations is to counter the negativity, replace it with positivity, start the day with joy and enthusiasm. Because we want that all of life will come to me with ease, joy and glory. Now, this is the mantra of access consciousness, which I have been studying and I continue to study and use in my life. I'm also within four days going to be a certified senior facilitator or facilitator. And it says all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. Wouldn't you like that? How many of you? would like to have a life of ease, joy, and glory. Raise your hands. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Sangeeta, and everybody else who raised your hands. Welcome to the family. You know what? In our default mode, in our auto mode, in which we normally live, the possibility of a life of ease and joy is very little. So how do we try to find ease and joy? Dam aru dam. Or do mil bethe hai do yaar. 
you know so all those things we are doing in order to get ease joy and glory and we don't need that you know we can be drunk with joy because we can create it but we need to get out from the default mode default mode is the survival mode default mode is the reaction mode default mode is the mode in which we are resisting right and like george bernard shaw said you know the being a force of nature that's what we are we are not a feverish selfish little clod full of grievances and ailments complaining that the world will not devote itself to making me happy that is the default mode feverish selfish little clod full of grievances and ailments complaining that the world will not devote itself to making me happy they are not interested yeah who's interested in making you happy you are so if we are looking for happiness and we are looking for fulfillment we can generate it we can get out of the default mode and that's what we do here every morning we give you certain uh, what shall i say hacks nowadays these youngsters call it hacks life hacks everything is a goddamn hack all right we are giving hacks to the packs pack of wolves that we are actually who you are you know let me remind you before i forget to remind you like i do every morning you are a wonderful magnificent extraordinary human being who deserves who deserves to be loved and respected for who you already are you don't have to get a phd you don't have to become superman or a super woman like who you are is a wonderful magnificent extraordinary human being and because you don't know that you see we don't know that we treat ourselves as ordinary people how sad if you don't know you are an extraordinary person that's what we will do we will treat ourselves like ordinary people huh feverish selfish little clod full of grievances and ailments complaining that the world will not devote itself to making me happy jeena ya marna ya and love those old mukesh songs and cry and mere dil dard dil ka pata na tha and all that shit hai na thoda hai thode ki zarurat hai right what are we trying to do drive ourselves more and more into the default mode in the auto mode the conditioned mode if my past bad experiences are going to drive me i'll never discover the magnificence of myself you know if you really go back rewind your life you will find there have been some unpleasant things that happened yeah and most of it there have been accomplishments but we never acknowledged and appreciated our accomplishments there have been so many of them right from the day you uttered your first word papa mama how excited the parents are when you uttered your first word that was an accomplishment when you started walking it was an accomplishment when you learnt your a b c d it was an accomplishment when you learned counting it was an accomplishment life that has been full of so many accomplishments but you see the way we live judging ourselves and comparing with other may this everybody learn so what so special about me but does it take away from the fact that you are accomplishing so much in your life why do we remember only the negative things why is it that only the negative things are influencing us and programming us why don't we remember those wonderful joyous and extraordinary moments of our life because we've all had them you know in your default mode when we are only reacting and when we are only resisting now this is one of the lessons we have done this brain of yours the frontal cortex or the rational brain the forward thinking brain the possibility seeking brain this is inactivated by the chemicals released by your reactive mind you know why children have so much fun you know why children learn so quickly you know why children are so curious because they have not yet gone into the default mode 
And by the time they are three years old, these great parents that we are, that we love them so much, and the great teachers that we have, shut up, don't do this. Don't sit like this. Don't stand like this. Why are you talking to that fellow? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Be careful. You will fall. And this wonderful, magnificent, you know, joyous kiddy who can teach you how to use your mobile phone without reading the manual. And he's only two years old or three years old. We kill him and make him in child de default mode. Now, why are you laughing unnecessarily? Are you mad? Laugh like a gentleman. My father was in the army, you know, sit like a gentleman, stand like a gentleman, laugh like a gentleman. I used to think you want me to sit like a gentleman also or what? Don't go out without, you know, can't go out in your pajamas. Don't wear chappal and come to the dining table. Okay, some good things we learned. There's a beautiful guy by the name of Og Mendino. He says, as a human being, I'm a slave of my habits. As a human being, I'm a slave of my habits. And if I have to be the slave of my habits, I will make good habits and become their slaves. Interesting. So one good habit might be, be in the presence of positive people. One positive habit might be stop reacting, stop complaining, stop blaming, start living, good habit. So all those mental, physical, emotional, bad habits that we picked up, I call it the garbage that we picked up. We are kachara collectors in our life. We can clean up the kachara and create our life and have a life that we want. All right, gentlemen and ladies, wonderful people that you are. So I'm pausing a little so that you can collect your thoughts, you know, after being bombarded with so much of bullshit. All right, so today we will celebrate, my friends. Today is a day like any other day, but we choose to celebrate a milestone that we've made today. Oh, Sirish, welcome back. Long time no see. I hope you're feeling better. So we will celebrate another day of living. We will celebrate another day of living our life fully. Now, those who have been with us for a long time, they know what I mean by that. What is life? Life is a series of experiences that occur moment by moment. That's life, that's all. One experience followed by another experience. So if you are not experiencing that experience fully, are you living your life? Agar aap us anubhav ka pura anubhav nahi kar rahe hain, to kya aap jee rahe hain? And why do I say that? Because so much of our life we resist, you know? So the one thing we do is judging, judging, complaining, complaining, judging, 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 comparing, judging, judging, God knows what else, right, wrong, good and bad. That's what we are doing. So if I am not able to be present in the present moment and I'm busy resisting it, am I living it? That is a question I want you to ask yourself. Agar main vartaman ka prati rod kar raha hun, Kya main puri se and I can tell you one thing, many of you have might have realized in the during the course of some exercises that we do, that we've lost the capacity to experience experiencing. So sometimes I ask these questions like, what are you feeling in your body? Nothing normal. How is it possible? Because we've lost the capacity to experience experiencing, so we need to we need to recover that. Once we recover it, you will start living your life fully. Simple. Nee, sir, life cannot be as simple as that. Yeah, life is as simple as you want to make it, or as complicated as you want to make it. Now we are complication making machines. We'll take a simple thing, make it so complicated that we will become miserable, and we'll make twenty people miserable along with us. And then we said, life <laughs> is not devoting itself to making me happy. Why are people getting upset with me? So another day of living, living your life fully. And we celebrate by experience every moment fully. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
when you start experiencing your life fully you will find out that every experience is an opportunity every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself how lovely is that every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself every experience offers you some learning i believe that providence or nature or whatever god whatever you may call it always is trying to give us signals and teach us something are you willing to receive them and they will only come to you if your awareness is high okay if you're not if your <laughs> awareness is not high meeta ji i hope your speaker volume is loud enough all right thank you for being back so what i said if you allow yourself to experience the present moment fully how would you do that by stop judging it you know from the age of 3 years this kida called judging was planted into us that's why the kid does not live free anymore so when we start judging the kid and when we were judged and very funny judgment say yaar subdeepak intelligent guy used to ask a lot of question so my father said shut up you talk too much so i became quiet then they said who oh, is become a very quiet child they are the ones who used to tell me when guests come to the house you should wish them and then you should go inside who who told me that they told me that so that's what i used to do i used to come out hello uncle hello auntie then they say oh, this is the elder son beta points now ba ba black okay now you go inside and the same guys who made me like that they would say see he's become a shy child once i got scolded by my teacher i got sick so my mom is telling my dad you know kid too is a shy child he got sick because he was scolded by the teacher he is very sensitive so i said oh my god i'm sensitive something must be wrong with me as an adult i know it's damn good to be sensitive you know my wife will love me more if i'm sensitive but as a kid i thought i am sensitive something is wrong with me so many judgments getting passed was it limiting me or expanding me and then i developed a habit of judging myself all the time you see i had to come up to their judgments you see so am i doing it right should i do this should i do that yeah judging 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 limiting 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 so here is this expansive wonderful infinite human being created by the lord in his own image and every day shrinking 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 hello how much experiencing is remaining very little na so the way we do that is by generating and creating our life so you got a little sample of how we can generate we generated happiness now i am a funny guy as a kid when i was 5 years old i decided i will never get angry so i never used to get angry now that is a big disability believe me if you are in the corporate world and you never get angry you know what will happen to you even in life you never get angry so take him for a ride sukdeepak to kuch bolega nahi how does it matter sir bade acche hai if they make a mistake they'll come and say sir you're very nice sorry sir then they'll go and do the mistake again and again and i would look at all these angry people and say yeah these guys are great they shouted somebody and people become sudraud they become all right but i can't get angry then i learned the power of generation now i can generate so much anger i never get angry still but i can generate it so one wonderful thing that i discovered in my life was that when i can generate my own feelings i will never be a victim of my feelings my feelings won't control me anymore i will control them because i can switch them on and off tell me one thing guys whose feelings are these my feelings right who should control their feelings should i allow anybody else to come and influence my feelings and just because i am not getting influenced by other people's feelings does it make me an insensitive human being i am a very sensitive human being if i watch a movie i'll cry six times my wife makes fun of me the guru so i am sensitive i choose to feel what i feel whenever i feel it if the situation 
makes me so frightened that I'm paralyzed and I cannot take action. You know, sometimes we face dangerous situations in life. Hmm? Now, I'm not a, if I'm not a master of my feelings, when I need to be calm and peaceful and I cannot be like that, is it good for me or bad for me? Obviously not good for me, right? So when you learn to generate and create, now I talked about generation, what is create? That's something which you want to really start exploring. When you stop judging and comparing and being ruled by your feelings, you may discover a wonderful dimension of life that I can create my life the way I want to create it. Most of the time, what are we doing? We are living in the default mode, which is survival mode. You know that. And the newcomers, guys, I don't have time today to explain all these things, but as you, if you join us and you continue, and you know the good news is that this is free, no strings attached. You can come every morning, learn new distinctions, and we lead you to a life which is not the default mode. We will lead you to a place where you are creating your life and expanding your life. How wonderful is that? Okay. So that's what we're doing here. Staying out of the default mode. All right. By being in the create mode. So you learn the power of being. We live only in the world of doing, 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 doing all the time. Have you noticed you keep doing the same thing? Different results don't come out. And sometimes you alter your way of being and suddenly results, unexpected results show up just because you altered your being. And this is something which we don't realize. Nobody told us about it. And that's another thing that's possible if you start working on it. Okay, guys. So today I have, you know, I wanted to share with you a wonderful tool that I learned many years ago. Okay. Almost a magical tool. So let me tell you a story. This is about a guy who, you know, took over as a head of uh, asylum for the criminally insane people. Okay. And by the way, now there are 40 people on this group also. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I know you know that. But for the benefit of don't, who, those who don't know, and for the benefit of those who don't practice, you see, I just want to share about this. This guy takes over as the head of the uh, criminally insane asylum. And he never comes out of his room. The only thing he does is ask for all the files. And then in the evening, he goes back. And the next day he comes. And after six months, that asylum where the atmosphere was so bad that the staff was afraid to walk in the corridor, that place starts becoming a better place, right? Their inmates start getting healed and comes a point after a year or two when there is only one inmate who is insane remaining in that asylum. So they decide to close it. Okay, what's the point of running an asylum? with only one inmate in it. So the people asked him, sir, you didn't do anything. How did these people get healed? He says, I practice something called Hopunno Puno. So I got quite curious about it. So I attended a qualification program to learn about this. Very interesting. At the end of the program, what came out, most of the program was about convincing us as to why it works, okay? the power of oneness and being interconnected in the energy domain, blah, 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 blah. So I want to share with you a couple of things that you can do. And the more you do it, the more your life is going to turn into a magical life. Are you interested to know what it is? Very simple. Step number one, repentance. So you say, I am sorry. Who should you say it to? I don't know. You don't have to say it to any particular person. So the first thing you say, I'm sorry. Second step is ask for forgiveness. You say, please forgive me. Third step is, is gratitude. You say, thank you. And the fourth step is say, I love you. So let's try that huh? all together. I would like you to say this and keep saying it until I ask you to stop. Now, some very interesting stuff might happen in your head. So here's what I invite you to do. Close your eyes, all right, and say with me, 
I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you for being my life. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. All right, you can close your eyes. Now I recall, and I just want to share with you when I did this exercise for the first time. I just did it, and as I started doing it, a lot of people started coming into my mind. They started popping, you know. I don't know why they popped into my mind, but they did. And I kept doing it, and I kept doing it. And after all the stuff that I've done. another kind of shift started happening in my life so i don't want to plant some stuff in your head so i leave you to find out for yourself okay very simple it's not a rocket science all you need to do is to spend some time whenever you feel like in the morning or late at night whenever you feel like okay and just say i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you maybe you are asking from yourself the forgiveness maybe you're forgiving yourself maybe you are thanking yourself and being grateful to yourself maybe you're saying to yourself i love you or maybe you're saying it to somebody else who knows are you interested in a magical life are you interested in a life of ease and joy and there are many things more which we can do and we will but here is the tool like i said more than 80% of the people use less than 10% of what they know So yes, one input which you might have been knowing. See, all of you who are interested in this kind of thing, I am hundred percent sure you must have heard of it. But I am not sure if you've been using it. All right, so let's the, open the floor to people who wish to share anything which yes, you sir. got from this session so far. Sir Suresh here. Yes, sir Suresh. Uh, Rajesh, good morning. Uh, i'm very glad to meet you here in this platform uh, apart from all the other friends uh, this is very wonderful uh, program this i mean you know the attending this uh, what i'm getting is living day to day life and sleeping happily you know uh, and uh, sharing is really helping you know like a lot of insights getting clear Uh, kind great. of great yeah. great thank you very much gautam you had your hand raised for a long time and after that i think kuldeep ji wants to say something yes, uh, good morning everybody today good is morning. a very uh, important day for us and we learn uh, from sukhdeep ji sir i uh, what uh, your program and what i learned that is a two sided program this it is a i i can tell you it, i i renamed this program this a uh, share and hear you also hear the what is our uh, agony what is uh, we want to hear we want to develop and how we can give us uh, the best uh, support system from you thank you thank you very much thank you yeah kuldeep ji uh, sir uh, i want to share that when we don't experience the experiencing then what is our condition happens on that i want to say four lines <laughs> please go ahead 
सुनाइए सुनाइए सर कि मौत के डर से नाहक परेशान न हो हम मौत के डर से नाहक परेशान न हो हम हम जिंदा ही कहा हैं जो मर जाए ओ लवली लवली सो वी शुड कॉल कम आउट ऑफ द स्टेट एंड लिव लाइफ फुली राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गेटिंग द लर्निंग सो ट्रांसलेशन प्लीज सर ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेशन मींस दे आई विल ट्रांसलेट इट कि वी शुड नॉट इफ वी आर नॉट एक्सपीरियंसिंग द एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ लाइफ देन आवर कंडीशन इज लाइक दिस देन वी नीड नॉट अफ्रेड फ्रॉम डेथ बिकॉज़ वी आर नॉट अलाइव एट ऑल if we are not alive we will not die great wonderful wonderful thank you so much uh, sangeeta bhattacharya you had your hand raised so good morning sir a good very morning. good morning to everybody morning. and uh, 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 i'd like to majorly thank major for giving uh, this invitation to me and uh, i loved whatever you said i loved the power of invitation and i realized oh my god that's a real powerful thing that i got from major uh the shares that you shared so it's amazing it's very very resonates with uh, within me i am a happy soul but yes oh uh, you know those judging judging all those things you said has really put you really behind and doesn't let your life to experience the possibilities of life and i think this is so fantastic your sessions just talking to you hearing you is so energizing i have already shared this link with my friends and family who really would benefit from this platform thank you so much for thank you thank you amazing. thank you for joining us yeah I thank would, you for thank you for I accepting like the to, invitation i would like to say something there is darshana here can yeah, i go yeah. ahead uh yes certainly uh, good morning everybody good morning uh, this is so uncanny uh, when you shared the hopon hoponopono whatever you, i think i'm pronouncing it wrong uh, my daughter has been doing it for such a long time and she's been after me to do it and secondly when you saw you when you said that you are a beautiful wonderful being and she's been trying to motivate me into the same mode of thinking that you are so creative but you don't acknowledge it you are so like you know she keeps on telling me that you are such a wonderful person why do you play yourself down why do you condemn yourself all the time why are you always on a guilt mode and i never really took her up seriously on that but listening to you i feel this is like a deja vu <laughs> and uh, she always tells me that uh, it is like ghar ki murghi dal barabar when i tell you something you don't listen to me and when you hear it from somebody else then you realize that it is true yeah. but i you feel she listen. says that because she is my daughter and she is prejudiced or uh, uh, i don't know the exact word that she is trying to uh, she is biased and that's why she is telling me all these things but i don't really believe it but now listening to you today after so many days today i felt that yes i was planning on leaving the group frankly because i didn't think that i was gaining much but after today i don't think i will be able to leave the group so it was really heartening to and my daughter is here laughing away at me because she can hear you and she says the same thing i have been telling you and you don't listen and now i hope you will listen to me she is also yeah. i told you once before that she is also very much into all this Mm, but she's going to join us no pardon ask her to join us she'll become a morning she's person not a morning person at all never That mind is. all right thank, thank you. you very much for sharing thank, thank you so talking. much thank you so much yes sir mr raghu yes, good morning sir and good morning uh, everyone just, just just one second let us uh, welcome aruna she is also come for the first time so thank you very much for being with us aruna yeah go ahead raghu Yes, sir. Very short. Uh, good morning, sir. And good morning, everyone. Uh, very short. I'll finish. We are jealous about many things, but what I would say is, make yesterday jealous about today. Then we will start living it, living it today. That's all I would say, and that's what I gained from this uh, platform, sir. From your advice. Right. Great. Thank you very much. So, who's next? So any uh, questions if, if any share permits can we ask for a share from alexander thomas uh, sir thanks for coming how do you feel it i couldn't see him actually so all right where are you alexander thomas if you are there please 
unmute yourself and share what you like. And we have um, Swadwani also. Good morning to you, Swadwani. He's there 3 a.m. in the morning away from England, imagine. So I feel so happy that he can come to us, be with us early in the morning. Makes me feel special. Thank you very much. So Alexander, while we are waiting for you to unmute yourself, Ratanji, would you like to say something? Yes, uh, I lose some sleep, but I gain much, much, much more. And uh, it's a joy to listen to positivity. Uh, and uh, one of the things uh, I believe it's in the, the Vedas, it says, let noble thoughts come from all directions. So I, I go wherever there is positivity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. All right. Alexander, are you there? We are. Oh, there you are. Would you please unmute yourself and uh, say anything you'd like to? Whatever you feel like saying is welcome. Go ahead. Well, very well. Looks like Anand is having, Alexander is having some problem there. Yeah, exactly. So maybe traveling. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. So anybody else would like to share anything? Yeah, Otherwise, I wanted to. Yes. Yeah, sir. I want. I wanted to say that today was uh, one of those uh, sessions that was like, wow, amazing. Like, I, I was like, why am I joining? You know, most of the sessions, and uh, today I was just like questioning joining, and I'm so glad I did. And I've been doing Ho'oponopono Pono for, you know, some time on and off, and I didn't think that it was, you know, anything of it. It was not anything substantial, but I guess um maybe I was, you know, not using using it properly or maybe I'm not understanding it. So I wanted to see like what what the benefits of it. Good. Congratulations, Dr. Neelam. So that's the second doctor from the US who is with us. Thank, thank you very much. Dwarkana, no, I'll be with I, you in a moment. I had a question <laughs> like what are the benefits of Ho'oponopono? Well, I would say do it and find out. <laughs> because you said you took an intensive course on it. So I wanted to know some science. Yeah, so I, I am not interested to convince you to do it, right? You experience it and find out. It's worth it, believe me. Otherwise, I would No, I do do it. it. I do it. I do it. I just wanted to know what the reason is. Well, if you do it, you might have discovered the benefits already. So my telling you will make you get more benefits or what? Yeah, I just, I don't think I'm doing it right because I didn't see. No, you anything. might be. Yeah, so just see, the thing is, it's like, you know, you can, you know, mantra jaap karte na, bina soche. Hmm. Yeah, rituals don't make a difference. Do it with your heart and soul, then, then see. Hmm. See, I have had many conversations with you, Neelam. So I know you a little bit, okay? Now, if you are saying, please forgive me, but you don't have any forgiveness in your heart, is it going to work for you? <laughs> I mean, how do you know that you have it? You think you have it and maybe there's another no, layer. Because, there's no, another because layer. you say, because if you say, keep saying it, why should I send energy to someone? They will benefit from my positive energy. <laughs> Remember, somebody said that to me one day. Yeah. I said, send energy. Yeah, said, no, but like... all, all the positive energy that I've accumulated over the years, they will get it from me. See, so when we counter it, na, See, mm. our intent is good, but we also no. Have somebody a told me that somebody's like, "Well, all this good stuff is happening to that person because maybe like you're sending all your hard work and sadhana to that person because you think about I them know. and you release your energy from yourself." Yeah. So the, what I'm trying to say is that's what I say. Now the negative influences of others, we get influenced by them. So you you are doing something maybe regularly every morning, but your belief system is saying to you, "Why should I forgive anyone? I don't want to forgive anyone, right?" But you're saying, "I'm sorry." So it's like saying sorry to someone in your heart. You're saying you bloody fool. Why don't you drop dead? I'm sorry. Why don't you drop dead? I'm sorry. Why don't you drop dead? Are you getting it? So that's the funny thing about being human, isn't it? So if I have no intention of, you know, saying, feeling sorry or asking for forgiveness, let me not do it. Just in Hindi, mein bolte na, le karne chhod do. It's no use. We are sabotaging ourselves. And believe you me, when I say I'm sorry, Actually, I may be forgiving myself because I am there in everyone, okay? If you believe in the oneness of all energy and oneness of all spirit, if I have anger and rancor and resentment towards anybody, 
I actually hold a little bit for myself also. Anyway, enough about the lecture part. Gaurav, welcome, and I'd love to hear from you. Vikripak, it's uh, such a pleasure to be back. Um, I go back to many, many years ago <laughs> when I did the program you mentioned. Uh, it's been 27 years we've known each other. And uh, I've always found you inspiring. And uh, when two days back, Imtiaz Bhai mentioned that uh, I should come for this, I've been kind of busy with various things. So I said, let me come. And it's been such a delight to get back in touch. And uh, I am kind of in the process of committing myself to coming more often. Yeah, and <laughs> Great how, many times, how, many, how many times I invited you, Gaurav? Yes, yes, but yes. You see, it had to so come. The but right okay. time, right time. <laughs> right. Thank you, thank you. I Great, mean, thank you, know, you so much. So nice to have your old comrades with you, you know. I mean, how much, how much work we've done together huh? yes. for the same cause, I mean. Correct. Years and years of it, right? Yes. So I'll probably give you a call later today to figure out certain things and yeah, yeah, be sure. more regular. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. But call me. Uh, don't call me too late. I'm traveling to Ahmedabad this evening. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about uh, three o'clock or so. I will message you. Uh, I will. Uh, good. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Bye. you so much. Yes, Janaki. Janaki, Amma. Sokya, Amma. So rhyming yourself. Good morning, uh, sir. Good morning to everyone. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I want to tell you just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. You muted Actually, yourself. Yeah, so there is a background a noise from my end. So that's why I muted. Actually, this uh, program, the time that I started attending it, you know, uh, generally when we think of something or when we started doing something or any situation that occurred in my life or anybody's life, uh, we tend to, uh, our mind tend to uh, create so many questions. Uh, please excuse me. Uh, okay. So it is like, uh, what happened? It started asking so many questions from my mind. So finally what happened? All my questions, I used to post it to you, sir. And all my answers, all my questions got answers. <laughs> I'm sorry. So all my questions were answered. So, so it is like when I don't attend the session, I feel like, oh, my questions will not be answered. Whatever I'm thinking, you know, my thought process actually got changed. Now, when we think about things around us, so it will be completely different. Now I started thinking and I started, you know, when we think about something, we generally feel judging and uh, misconceptions. Um, so many things were there. Now I have a lot of time to do my own work. So thank you so much for it, sir. Wow, wow, wow. Today your friend, the rooster is not there. Huh? Normally he's there in the morning. Oh, 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 he does. Uh, he's, he's at the back. He's at the back. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, Priyami. Go ahead. Hello. So I, I am very honored that my daughter-in-law is attending our session, though she came a little late. Welcome, welcome, Priyami. Go um, ahead. I'm trying to Papa, find you so Papa. I can highlight you. No, I haven't put on my camera. So, uh, Papa, I just want to uh, want to really congratulate you. Firstly, it's your hundredth session so the the work that you're doing 100 times over i think that's something that uh, you've committed your life to and i'm so privileged to be your daughter-in-law and uh, yeah i did come late because i uh, you know i mean this is how it is dashna ji said ki wo ghar ki murgi dal barabar hota hai na so in my mind <laughs> i know papa is always there i can always reach out to him and somewhere in my mind, it was that it, it's at 8.30. I don't attend his sessions. I just attended it, like, you know, with Manav, my husband. He he is part of it, or he listens to the recording, so I do do that. But then um, I have, haven't attended. But irrespective, Papa, I know that the commitment that you have and the fact that I can reach out to you any, any time, any moment, that's what, uh, you know, the space that you provide. Uh, thank you very much for that. And hey, let thank me you. to be on this call. I think uh, 
I haven't seen anyone as committed to transformation, as committed to, you know, an absolutely uh, uh, a space of nothingness. I don't know if how many of you will understand that, but Papa doesn't come with any prejudices, any meaning, anything for anyone. He's just there. And that's what is so brilliant about him. And thank you, Papa, once again, and many, many, many congratulations. Thank I'll you, take Papa. God bless. God bless. It's so nice to hear this. And by the way, Priyambi is one of the people who came and studied uh, access bars with me. So I feel happy about that too. Thank you very much. Yeah, Papa. Yes, Meeta. Do you Punjabi? No, I'm Sindhi. Punjabi. Sindhi is Kobi Ate, Punjabi. Thodi Thodi. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much. First of all, uh, thank you to Major Sir for inviting me to attend this. It's a beautiful uh, platform. I enjoyed it previously as well, and he insisted today for me to attend. And I'm glad I'm here and I'm able to attend today. Yesterday, the mastermind, we were introduced to the concept of uh, Hopo no Pono. That's how we say it, right? Uh, and uh, it was just briefly once done, and then we were left to do it on our own. And today, you made us go through it. And I exactly experienced the same thing what you mentioned. People started popping in my head. And yeah. I just kept going on and on. And I didn't want to stop because people just kept popping in, right? And uh, it's, it's beautiful how I've, I'm, I'm here today and I'm experiencing this. So there is that divine help helping me, you know, sail through something today. I have this feeling that there is this divine force that, that uh, someone just brought me here. I was meant to be doing this today. And thank you so much. I'm so thank glad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you have the link, and it's the same link you can join every day. Yes. And if you send me your number, we'll put you on the group so you don't miss out on anything. Absolutely. Very, very so, happy to be part of. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being there. Okay. Hello, I would like to. My name is Raja Rajeshwari. Yes, ma'am. Can I go ahead? Certainly. It's really fantastic. I should say thanks to Major G once again. He is my super senior. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I, I would like to say thanks to Major Narayanan. He is my super senior. He, uh, he, was to, he, he gave the invitation to this um, um, session. And I'm already in your group. I think I joined yesterday. It's really, really fantastic to see your face itself, sir. It's like so motivating and with so much of energy in you. Hoponopono is one thing that years back I had registered. It's a funny story. I didn't register with the proper email address, so I didn't get the course, you know? <laughs> so I was not able, <laughs> I was telling, I was sending uh, letters to Joe, uh, please, uh, you know, give it back to me. And he was stubborn, he didn't give it back to me. And somehow, finally, I managed to do from somebody. And it was nice, once again, you rewind it. And somebody was telling, you know, about the life. Life is just 10% of what really happens to you and absolutely 90% what you exaggerate and react to it. So as you said, if you, uh, we are so capable of generating and creating things, why not good things? It's really nice to have in the morning, uh, you know, your frequency is also pretty easily catchable, especially I woke up at five because which not woke up. I don't generally sit for uh, Zoom meetings at five o'clock in the morning, but it's really, really worth it. <laughs> where see, where are you? I, I live in Bahrain. I live in oh, Bahrain. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and it was five, and I told Major Sir, it's five o'clock in the morning. He said, just <laughs> make it a half an hour later. I said, okay, I'll make it. <laughs> I wake up early, but I have my morning routine. Not in the Zoom, I said, but it's worth it again. You're more like a sunshine to me, you know. Instead of going out, I saw it here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. It's a big encouragement for all of us, you know. No, it's you an encouragement to, be here with to us. Uh, it's an encouragement to see people like you, you know, making a big, big difference in people, uh, at least 75, 75 people I saw making a big difference in their life. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. And Ashok ji, I am on, uh, please unmute yourself and speak. So Ashok ji is one of our regulars. And because of him, we have our friend from UK also joining us. So Ashok ji, one second. Um, I got the wrong. Yes, go ahead. I'm not able to see myself. Yeah. Okay. You will see yourself Friends. now. There you are. Friends. Uh, I, I, actually, there are no words to explain or uh, say our feeling. Something, something which has struck me is that I did not know even myself why I am doing something and whether what I am doing has some rationale. And I found that, that yes, I am on the right path, in the right company and in the right time. Hoponopono or self-suggestion or motivation or doing something for others. There has to be a motive why you do this and why the particular election which have been taken, maybe anger, maybe donation, maybe just uh, neglecting. There has to be a reason why that happened. And I am getting one, one by one those answers. And sir, I removed at least 50% of my kachara. I am feeling very, very lighter now. And I want to reduce kachara to zero in the next eight to 10 days. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What a privilege it is to hear you say that. I mean, aapke, I mean kya thank you very much. You know, this is what encourages you know, us to go on. When you know that, yes, it is making a difference to someone, then you want to do more. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot. How are you? Sir, on, yes. a lighter, on a lighter note, when you say lighter about... Note. <laughs> now you have taken over from Vitriwell. I, I know Vitriwell listening this, and Vitriwell family also listening this. Uh, when you said about uh, Hoponopono, and I'm sorry, I... What is that? The four line. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Please, I'm please sorry. Forgive me. Please, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. The first thing comes to me is my wife. It should. Th she should. Th thanks for that. You're most welcome. So, Kunan Zab, aapka to share hua hi nahi aaj. Aise kaise chalega? Arz kya hai ke manzil se aage badkar manzil talash kar. मंजिल से आगे बढ़कर मंजिल तलाश कर अगर मिल जाए दरिया तो समंदर तलाश कर सो so, मेरी प्यास अभी तक बुझी नहीं है सर आई एम इन सर्च ऑफ समंदर एंड आई एम श्योर विद यू दिस जर्नी विल कंटिन्यू लाइफ लॉन्ग सो थैंक यू सर बैक टू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू एंड सिरीश यू आर बैक आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई होप यू आर रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम ऑल दिस डिंग 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 व्हाटएवर वाज गोइंग ऑन विद यू सो एनीथिंग यू वुड लाइक टू से एज अ जेस्चर ऑफ जॉइनिंग बैक टुडे you are muted sir please unmute yeah yes. thank, you. thank you so much i'm really happy to join again and there was some pain at such uh, the treatment is still going on but you know uh, today i received a message from uh, sandeep that today is the 100th session and i said i have to join now Anyway, whatever whatever it comes, I have to join. I joined it. I I got this new mantra of open open no, uh, which really worked. I didn't hear about it, but I was just you know uh, practicing without knowing that. So today I came to know that there is a technique which is which is called open open no, and under that these are the four things which if you practice yourself slowly and slowly you will try to recover from the clutches of past. From the uh, prejudices in your mind and all these things, and slowly we try to forgive people, love people, and clear all this letter from your mind. So thank you so much. I really miss thank a you, lot. Thank you. I really miss a lot. I don't want to miss now again. Thank you. The so recordings much. are there on the channel. You can go and see them. Uh, right. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The formal part of the session is over, and we look forward to see you again tomorrow morning at seven thirty for the next session of Empowering Morning Conversations. Look forward to seeing all of you there. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.